We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Kansas City Royals and the New York Yankees. The Yanks attempt to break out the brooms in this three-game series right after this. Jay Happ, a southpaw from Illinois, gets the starting call in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock-solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. So striding forward now, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he takes ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they're coming off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. The 2-1. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And a wise decision there to make sure this ball stays foul, and that's the second strike. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Weak grounder down the line at third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And this is a case of a hitter's reputation preceding him. The ball was a little dribbler to the left side, but he knew the guy had speed, so he rushed it and ends up unable to make a clean play. That's another example of why speed is such an offensive weapon. Now a move over to first. A dive, but he's back. Here's the first pitch to him. Half. 37 years old. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, Matty, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. One and two, here it comes. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Mondesi aboard here at first with nobody out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. Now a throw over, and he'll be back in standing up. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Whit Merrifield next to hit. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right.
And a pitch out. Nothing doing though. And that's ball one. Runner goes for second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak. So when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that. So we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. Skied into straightaway right. Judge is there. Two down. Batting fourth, the right field, number 12, Jorge Soler. Coming to the plate now, Jorge Soler. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled away. He's set. The 0 1. And that misses downstairs for a ball, 1 and 1. Aye. Just got the corner that time with a fastball, strike two. Two and two to Jorge Soler. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Three and two, full count. Ready with the payoff pitch. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Royals settle for just the one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Royals out in front, one to nothing. Mike Montgomery is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Kansas City. What's your take on him, Dan? Yeah, Matt, his last start wasn't a particularly good one. Lasted five innings and ended up taking the loss. He's a much better pitcher than that, and I think he's looking to at least, hopefully, pitch into the sixth or seventh inning in this one. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the Yankees. Cutter runs outside, ball one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. They are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Now a pitch popped up. Should be enough room for Perez behind the plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Batting second. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. And he looks at a curveball that falls in one and one. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else. But he should have pulled the trigger. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. 
I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses his own by that much. I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set. Here it comes. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Runner at first here, one man out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. The 2-1 saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air to second for one batting four the shortstop Weaver Torres striding forward now Torres and he's someone they're going to have to watch out for you can see he's been a tough out over the last couple of series Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Ball one. Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Two out with the man at first. That evens it up. One and one. Are up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. If you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Stepping up now, Brett Gardner. And he's been swinging it well the last couple of games. Set and the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. They still trail 1 0. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. Hunter. First offering on its way. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is fifth. The catcher, number 13, Salvador Perez. Digging in now, Salvador Perez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the Yankees have dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. You know, and it's not an easy thing to complete a sweep, particularly in this day and age where the games and the teams are so competitive, so a sweep at home would be extra special. A ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Rolled slowly down the first baseline.
The one two is taken for ball two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And another foul ball. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of that swings that and misses with that pitch unless it's it. really moving. Like so that one must have had some real good late life. At the plate, Michael Franco, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. Another 0 and 2 coming. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Still 1 and 2 as he fouls it away. Two out, nobody on. Drilled to first. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Royals go down one, two, three. And after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Love Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo shot here to left. Fourth home run for him on the season. And the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Bring in Giovanni Urshela. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. Now here's the pitch. And that misses ball one. Too much bite on the sinker, and he's behind 2-0 and now. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Popped him up. Mondesi is under it. One away. Batting it. The first baseman. Blue. Four. 
Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt. First offering on its way. Whoa, that's down. Bases are empty, one man out. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt, some people like to crow about homers and towering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no-doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Standing in, Kyle Higashioka. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a ball hit toward the shortstop, Mondesi. Reined in. Fro gets him, two down. Now back, the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. So it's back to the top of the order now. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Yeah. On the season, Andujar hits a little over the 270 mark. Ready with the 0 and 1. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hit back up the middle. Mondesi scoops it up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. Number 66. All right, Heidi, thank you. Digging in, Ryan O'Hearn. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. The pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Stanton giving chase. But he won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. So quickly into scoring position here following the opposite field double. And as we take a look there at the Kansas City team leaders in that category, he's currently second best on this Royals ball club. Brett Phillips will bat next as he'll take a change up here for strike one and you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line he's set here's the 0 1 and this one's downstairs it's a ball and a strike. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Taken. Called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them.
to the plate now. Adalberto Mondesi. He swings and grounds it to short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The left fielder of the four, Alec Gordon. Digging in for his second at bat, Alex Gordon. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in this at bat. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Great execution of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. He set the 0 1. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. The set. And the one two now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time uh, throw not nearly in time so despite the great effort that'll go into the books as an infield single that's one of those do or die plays right there D road good job there by the third baseman to get it has to do that bare hand that was a strong throw to the first base but just not in time for an infield single yeah Dan you practice this one in spring training the bare hand from the third baseman it's not easy again all your momentum's going towards home plate and you try and find a way to redirect that ball to first base one of the best in the business but even he couldn't stop it from being an infield single. The set and the 1 0. Count is two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Runners on first and third, two away. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Fastball well outside. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. Royal strand a pair. Home half of the third coming up, tied at one. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Aaron. Here comes the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Judge is simply an all around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Here's another one, too. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Now batting. Left fielder. Good power ball. Stanton. Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. 
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Line. That's a base hit in the left field. The bat, not shortstop. Waver. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. One for one after a single this first time up. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Throw won't get him. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh for one for him here in this one. One and zero pitch on the way. Outside with the cut fastball there, and it's a two ball count. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Hit out towards second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's now a two to one ball game. The and time pitch. will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. First and second now. One man out. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Well, there's a bullet base hit to left field right there, d -Row, and there was a terrific play at the plate. A lot of fundamentals were on display right there, Dan. Nice throw home from the left fielder, and nice aggressive send by the third base coach to beat that one. Hey, and really good base running. Did a good job of cutting that corner around third base. Able to score on that base hit from left field. At the plate now, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Still only one out in the inning. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. From the belt, the pitch. Mine to the right side. Soler is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And he is in there. Now that the first base play. Four. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Luke Voigt. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat 1 and 0. Oh. Well, that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him, but it really hasn't been effective so far. It just looks kind of flat. Looking to minimize the damage here. 
grounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. On now to the top of inning number four. The Yankees lead this one three to one. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. Hey, we're still in the Jorge. early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First offering on its way. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Outside, three and oh now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Here it comes, the 3-0. Drill down the line. And this is going to be a foul ball. The 3-1. Takes a strike for a full count now, 3-2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Now batting, the third baseman, Hunter Dozier. Stepping in, Hunter Dozier. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. One ball, no strikes to count. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Now the 2 1. Nope. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. One run on three hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Fouled away. Here comes the payoff pitch. Popped up. Higashioka over to his left. Makes the play one away. Now that. So we the saw the fastball there as he got the pop out, and that'll segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see that both guys are well into the 90s, 95 on one hand, and just two miles an hour slower on the other. So a runner at first with one man gone. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. From the belt, the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Oh 
timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Perez playing here in his age 29 season. He's a nine year major league vet. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. He stays alive still two and two four foul balls in this a B pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away don't quite know where that one missed but it's not for me to decide three and two not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion three two count you send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four. The payoff pitch home. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Smoke toward the hole. And that gets through for a one out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, d -Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. Now that's popped up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. This is wide. One ball and one strike. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Runners are at first and second with one away. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. He's set and the one two pitch fouled off. The one two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Three-two pitch. On a rope to the second baseman. The batter, number 56. Stepping in, Ryan O'Hearn. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Here's the first pitch to him. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Urshela has got it, and the side is retired. Royal strand a pair. Score holds. It's 3-1. to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. Our research team found that to this point in the game, they've only missed the ball on less than 5% of their swings. Major League average is closer to 25%. So to put it simply, their hand-eye coordination at the plate is second to none right now. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And up to bat next, it'll be the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. First pitch of the at-bat. And that misses for ball one. And this is on the ground for Merrifield at second. And there's one away. Now back, the designated hitter, Miguel Andujar. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 1 0. Top to third. Dozier brings it in. And quickly there are two away. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. Judge. Ready for another shot now. Aaron Judge. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Three runs, seven hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Now the 2-1. Ball three. Hey, this is a huge at-bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have 3-4-5 due up to start the next inning. Into his motion. Here comes the 3-1. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Number 18 for him on the campaign as the Yankees have taken a 4-1 lead. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Giancarlo Stanton now. As he takes a bold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. A hit in two tries for him so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Down 0-2, maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Bases are empty here with two men out. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The next 0 2 he is swung on and missed. He got him.
Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. We played four. It's now four to one New York. Jonathan Holder a six foot two inch right hander jogs in to take over on the mound. Jonathan Holder. At the plate, Brett Phillips comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Number 14, Brett Phillips. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality AB and start the line moving again. The wind up and the 0 1. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball 1 and 1. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now and he fouls this one off and it's a two and two count to Brett Phillips. Three and two, a full count to the Royal center fielder. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gardner going back. Gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo shot here for Brett Phillips. Home run number five on the year, and the Royals draw closer here. It's now a 4 2 ball game. Well, you could see when that one was tracking towards home, that was a hanging breaker right over the middle part of the plate, and that one wasn't coming back. Into the box, Adalberto Mondesi. And the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A ball and a strike. No outs, nobody on. A 2 and 1 count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. To two and two now. Pitch on the way. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Gardner is there and he has it for the first out. The left fielder of the fourth, Alec Gordon. Into the box now, Alex Gordon. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's one for three. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. One out, nobody on. And there's ball one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Two and two now. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. There's a ball low. He misses with a changeup. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And Gordon looks at ball four. 
he's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. With Merrifield next to bat, third trip to the plate for him here tonight, 0 for 2 at this point. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Bounce to first. And that gets through for a one out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D. Rowe, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. In is Jorge Soler. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. It was a walk in his last trip. Comes set and the 0 1. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at 1. First and second now, one man out. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. The one two. Ball, that's too high. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. 2-2. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Number 17 for him on the season. As they will take the lead here, it's now a 5-4 ball game. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Luis Sessa, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Number 85, Luis Sessa. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. And it's fouled away. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. Back goes Stanton at the track. The wall. Gone. Back to back homers. A solo shot here to left, number 10 for him on the year, and it's now 6 to 4. How about the work the lineups have been doing so far, fellas? Yeah, hey, Matty V, this big ballpark in the Bronx has that short porch in right field, D-Row, but you can hit the ball out of just about any part of this ballpark. Yeah, this place plays sneaky small. I know it's got big no, gaps, man. but right That's field is so no, juicy. As a right-handed hitter, you don't feel like you have to cheat. Not surprised by what we saw today. First pitch coming, here it is. Nope. 
the 1-0. Drilled to the right side. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that certainly represents a career milestone. Hit number 1,000. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 1,000 isn't a milestone that's going to get everyone talking, but as an individual, you have to feel pretty good about it. He'll definitely be wanting that ball for his trophy case. In now, Michael Franco. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. And he'll get in there safely. Now well, it's really hard to complain about this one because that's one of the hardest double plays to turn. The first baseman has to deal with the runner headed to second, and he sometimes shields you from throwing where you want to make the throw. They should have made it, but that's a tough play all the way around. So striding in, Ryan O'Hearn. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, this dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think the approach to this guy is try to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. Two balls and no strikes. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2-0. Oh. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. From the belt, kicks and deals. And whoa, <laughs> there's a swing he'd like back. It's 2-1 and one now. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. 2-1, here it is. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. Perez rounds third and is digging for the plate. He'll score easily as they extend their lead to three. And he'll pull into second with one away. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Stepping in now, Brett Phillips. As he can't catch up on a fastball to letters, and it's strike one. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. The 0-1 pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Not okay. close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Two pitch pulled toward right center field. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner's breaking from third. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. But they get the long ball working here as they club three home runs in the inning on their way to putting up a sixth spot. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Royals seven and the Yankees four. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and stepping in the long ball threat, Torres. Torres. 
first pitch on its way. And now that Royals bullpen will get busy as we see both the southpaw and a right-hander get loose. The wind-up and the 0-1. This is line to left. Again, a nice clean base hit is third of the game. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear him. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. One of the big keys to pitching well is getting ahead early on, and it's been far from that for this guy so far. Less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The 0-1 on its way. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Here's a foul ball left side and that'll move it to one and two. From the belt kicks and deals a double play ball to second four six three but it's not in time and they'll just get the one. Now that, that was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to second base and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. So one gun in the inning here with the runner at first, and that'll bring in D.J. LeMahieu. Oh, and they've got him picked off. And a good decision to throw as he is toast at second base. First pitch on its way. Whoa, that the 1 0 home. Back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Yeah, Maddie. I mean, the numbers don't lie. They've tagged him for 10 hits, including that last one, and he's having a hard time getting out of any trouble. They might be buying some time to let the relievers get a few more pitches in before they give him the hook. Into the box now, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. One oh. Two balls, no play. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Down low and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore. Swinging on 3-0 and and he can't keep it fair, so it'll be 3-1 and now. Both teams with an even 10 hits in the ballgame. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, 3-2. and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a liner. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And the runner scores all the way from first as they try and chip away at their deficit. That makes it seven to five now. 
And this is just a cut fastball. He's trying to sneak in the back door. He's unable to get it done. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. At the plate, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Voigt is below the Mendoza line. A batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with the batting average on the season. But he's found a way to get on base north of 350, working walks with an unbelievable eye at the dish. Two out here and a runner at second. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Don't make your manager be the bad guy in this situation. I know you struggled a little bit right here. You've got to find a way to get through this fifth inning and qualify for that win. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. This will kick up against the wall now. It's a second now, but he's safe as they also push across a score to make it a one-run game. Yeah, and giving up an RBI double is always painful but even more so when there are two outs in the inning. A run had already crossed the plate, and then he gives up a blistering double to allow another run on the board. Standing in now, Kyle Higashioka. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Liner in there for a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Boy, D. Rowe, he's not missing very many barrels so far in this one. That is back to back bullets and another base hit. Yeah, no doubt about it. There was this banner that hung in the Texas Rangers clubhouse back in the day that said, hit or get left behind. That's exactly what this offense is doing. Now, here comes the Royal Skipper up the stairs on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll depart here. And you know he would have loved one more out to qualify for the win, but he's gone nonetheless after four and two thirds. Jesse Hahn trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. So now to the plate, Miguel Andujar. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. hit ball to short. Merrifield's right there to take the routine throw and retire the side. So two runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Royals lead it seven to six. Into the box, Adalberto Mondesi as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. I couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0-1. Right side hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. The left fielder number four, Alec Gordon. 
Here's a look over to first and a dive, but he's back in. Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. On its way the 0 1 pitch. A pitch out. The throw. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Wow, that's a big time throw right there. And it's a tall task to throw him out stealing a bag. But he got rid of it quickly. And it was a good job down there applying the quick tag. They'll have to feel good about that one. Two and one. Shot down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now that a good piece of hitting there, but you can't help wonder what might have been if the previous play didn't unfold like the way it did. If he doesn't get tagged out, he probably scores on that one pretty easily. Instead, it's just a one out double. Blake now Whit Merrifield takes this the other way to right that's in there base hit nice piece of hitting right there looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit they had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down but eventually does get the third base from the stretch and he'll start in with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball one and oh hey the bullpen needs to step up in this situation I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this runners are at first and third one away in there one and one Wings through it for strike number two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Still one and two. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Runners are at the corners with one man out. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Hunter Dozier digging in now. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. And it's 1-1. One and one. Popped him up. Boyd has a play. And that ends the inning. Royal strand a pair. They'll try and hold him in the field now. It's seven to six.
bottom of the inning now. And next, go. it'll be the outfielder, Aaron Judge. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. No balls in one strike. It's a ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And this is swung on and missed. And the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes. One away. It's not that easy to make a good no, hitter look that bad, no, but that's what bad. happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the that's inner half bad. of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 1 0. Bends into the zone for a strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 1 1 home. Han has logged upwards of 75 innings pitched. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number, over 1.5. So he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base paths, unfortunately. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. This is in the air out to left field. Gordon is there, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting, good stop, Weaver, Gordon. Digging in now for the Yankees, Torres. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and it's a foul ball. When the guy on the mound has complete command of his off speed, especially his changeup, sometimes as a hitter, you just have to give up full side to stay on it. Fouled away. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one two three trying to hold him in the field now it's seven to six. Tommy Kingley is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez. First pitch coming, here it is. Now the 0 1. Look out, 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Fouled off.
the one two is a wave and a miss he struck him out nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout I'll tell you in a one run game especially this late getting that first guy in the inning it's so important it changes the whole complexion of the inning so that was a big out. to the plate now Michael Franco as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike he's hitless in three at bats to this point and he falls behind Owen two. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. Back. That's back to back Number K's and pitch. he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping in now, Ryan O'Hearn. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. One and oh pitch on the way. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Two and one to the Royals first baseman. Two out nobody on. All even now two and two. Now here it comes. We got three and two. When you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. 3 2 pitch. He is swung on and missed strike three. Casey down in order as they still cling to a 7 6 lead. So digging in now, Brett Gardner. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Line shot to first, and there's one away. The battle, the second baseman, DJ Love Now batting, DJ LeMayhew trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this is on the ground for Merrifield at second. He's got it. In time to first, and there are two away. Good pitch right there to Number run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. Digging in, Gio Urshela. He's working on a one-for-three thus far. Hans ready. First pitch on its way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Going after it is Gordon. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Yankees retired on just four pitches. Down a run in a tight one. It's seven to six. Ben Heller has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 61. Ready to begin the eighth, and that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. Here's the first pitch to him. 
14. Fly right. ball right down the line in left. Stanton on the run. And he makes the catch in the corner. Up next for the Royals. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Adalberto Mondesi. First delivery to him on the way. One out. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Bases are empty, one man out. Into the corner and slicing foul. The Yankees are looking for the sweep in this game, as we mentioned earlier, but trailing by one, they're going to need to come from behind to do it. This one's still well in striking distance. Only trailing by one going late on to the game. They just need a bloop and a blast or some kind of extra base hit. This one's far from over. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1 pitch. On the ground to the right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. The left field of the field, Alex Gordon. In now, Alex Gordon, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. And for the opposition, wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody likes to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back team morale. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Pitch is high. The throw in time as he just gets the tag down. We've seen a lot of that now with pitchers being quick to the plate with that slide step. Awfully difficult for base runners to get a good lead because the pitchers get the ball to plate so quick. Bases are empty here with two men out. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Gardner is there, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Royals bats are quiet there. They'll try and hold him in the field now. It's seven to six. Trevor Rosenthal is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Trevor Rosenthal. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And here comes the first baseman, Luke Voigt. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. And now a pitch on the way. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. You got two balls, one strike. Two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. 
And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim lead, and the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up to bat next, it'll be the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. From the belt, kicks and deals. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. The 0 1 pitch. Rosenthal stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Nobody out, runner on first. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Smoke on the ground up the middle. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. The designated hitter. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Miguel Andujar. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. He's set. Here it comes. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. So they're going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. And the throw in gets away from him. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. So stepping in, Aaron Judge, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. The 0-1 on its way. Well, that's bad. Pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Here now the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at bat of the night so far. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Payoff pitch one more time. On the line, that's a base hit in the left field. And the tying run is in to score from third. It's a 7-7 game. 
You know, d -Row, in today's game, it's oh, not easy good. scoring in the late inning, so that good. RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Eric Scotland takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. And that is down for extra bases. Is that on a plate the go-ahead run and maybe another? As he arrives at second without a play, as a run is also in, and with it, they take the lead. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball at 1-0. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Well, they miss with the first one, but then they decide, let's go ahead and put him aboard here. And they'll do just that as you see the signal from the dugout. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one away. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. He's set and the pitch. Oh, that's not the play. This is where you got to empty the bucket out on the mound. Throw your best stuff right here, right now, and try and get out of this. If anything catches outfield grass, this game's probably over. Hey. A ball and a strike. fouled away. Lifted in the air to center. Dive, but it's off his glove, and that ought to get at least one run in. And a big RBI there as the run scores to make this a two-run game now. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. A ball and no strikes. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. strike to even the count one and one he struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here so he needed that strike maybe it settles him down a little bit three runs already home here popped him up O'Hearn waits on it two gone That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. In now, Gio Urshela. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So they do get three that inning. That's the good news. The bad news is they leave three men on base. Ninth inning coming up. 
The Yankees lead it 9-7. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Here comes the 0-1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Now the pitch. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Count remains full. Oh, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. The bat. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jorge Soler. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Out in front of it, strike one. A one pitch on its way. And right into the shift. Throw on to first is going to take care of him as the Royals are now down to their last chance now. Now batting. Third baseman. Hunter. Gunther. Stepping into the box. Hunter Dozier. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Here comes the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw into second. And he is out at second base. And partner, that's going to do it for this one. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series. Breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. Nine to seven, the final score in this ball game. So the Bronx Bombers came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Ben Heller earns his third win of the year in relief. Aroldis Chapman hammers down the save, his 16th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.